In this video, I want to show you how to enable Wi-Fi Direct on your brother MFC J1360DW and how to connect your phone to be able to print using the Wi-Fi Direct. So let's get started right away. On the control panel, what we need to do is to press the settings button right over here. Then you're going to go down in this menu with the down arrow until you get to network. Press OK. Go down and select Wi-Fi Direct. Press OK. And now you're going to select Manual. It should be one of the first option. Press OK. Right over here, you're going to get the Wi-Fi Direct name of the printer. And under it, where you see PASS, this is the password that you need to enter on your device. So let me show you how this works. Take your iPhone, Android, Mac, or even PC computer, and we will simply go into the Wi-Fi settings of that device. So I'll go ahead and open the Wi-Fi settings. One of the settings should be the broader, you see over here, J1360DW. You're going to click on it. And now for the password, I will simply type what I see over here. 2BKL, you know, make sure that uh, if it's a lowercase, it's lowercase. And if it's a capital letter, you actually put a capital letter. If not, it will not work. Then I'm going to press the connect button. And it's currently connecting. You may get a message on your phone saying that there is no internet available. Obviously, this is not providing internet, so it's a bit confused. You're going to select always connect. And now you see connect without internet. If you want to print something, I'll show you on an Android smartphone. On iPhone, it's almost the same. All right. You simply have to open the document or picture you wish to print. So let me go over here in my pictures. And let's say I want to print this one. So on Android, you're going to see three dots on the top right corner that you need to click on it and select print. On iPhone, down below, you should have an icon with a square and an arrow. Choose that icon, simply tap on it, and then you'll be able to select print in the menu that will be open. So I'll select print over here, and then on the top, I'll tap and select my printer over here, Brother MFC J1360DW. Now, there's a few settings you can change if you tap this small arrow. So the paper size, how many copies do you want in color or black and white? Do you want to print on both sides of the page if it's a document with multiple pages? Stuff of this nature. And when you're done, you're going to simply press this print button. Extend the paper output. Now, if you want to scan a document and get your result on your smartphone using Wi-Fi Direct, you absolutely need to install the Broader app. So let me show you how this is done on my iPhone. You can do the same exact thing on your Android and again, Mac and PC. I'll have different videos for those. You will need to have the Broader Mobile Connect app. This printer has two different scanners. Let me show you how to input paper in both of them. So first of all, we have the basic scanner over here. It's simply a scan glass. Take your document, going to place it facing down with the top part of your document towards the left side. And then we have to bring this corner over here of your paper. So it touches this corner of the scanner, the one with an arrow. So simply bring until both are touching. Then you can close the scanner lid. To put the document on the top document feeder, it could be a document up to 15 pages. You're going to take your documents, put it facing down with the top part towards the left side, just like that. Before doing this, you can even extend this small flap so the paper doesn't come flying on the table. And if these over here were in this position, you can simply push them to the extremities and glide your paper or stack of paper right between them. On the broader mobile connect app, let me open it. Here you're going to click on skip, click on I agree and press OK. 
press next, press don't allow, OK. And down below, you have the choice to add your machine to the app. So click on this button. It will search and press allow if you see this display. Select your brother printer from the list, MFC J1360DW. Press skip. Activate later. Maybe later. Here you can press on skip. Finally, we're going to get the green check mark telling us that everything is great and connected. So press exit setup. Let's go back to the app. And if there is any update available for your printer, you're going to get this display and you can press OK and it will be installed on your printer. In this video, I don't want to do it since I simply want to show you how to scan, but I strongly encourage you to press OK and install any updates that are available. So this is the main display of the app quickly. OK, this is where the printer is. If you tap on it, you're going to see all your ink levels. And down below, it's the most used features, document print, photo print. But as I said, you do not need to go in the app if you want to do this. You can do it directly from the menu of your iPhone, which is a lot easier. But if you want to scan, you absolutely need to press this scan button. And over here, we have a few different options. So we have, if you want to scan in color or black and white, select your paper size and the scan resolution. 300 is the highest you can choose on your iPhone. But if you're going to connect this printer to um, a PC or a Mac computer, you'll be able to scan with a lot, a lot more details than this. So just so you know, uh, 300 is not the maximum. It can go even higher. At the end, once you're done, press the scan button and the printer will automatically detect where you have input your paper over here or over there it knows and as you see the page appeared on my iPhone if I had multiple pages they will all be over here press done and now we're not uh, uh, the document is not saved on your iPhone yet to save it you absolutely need to press on save uh, on share save down below but before doing this, you can click the very small cogwheel over here. Click on it and you'll be able to edit the name. So this is the default name of this document, but you can give it, I don't know, homework or, you know, give it a custom title. Then you can select which kind of file do you want, JPEG, PDF. And the file size, just leave it to normal. If you go back, now you'll be able to click on share save and you'll be able to share it with your favorite contacts on your iPhone, on your favorite app. You can scroll left and right. Or over here, you can, for example, save image, which will save it on your iPhone. You can also save to files if you want to put it in a folder on your iPhone. If you simply want to print whatever you have scanned, select print. So this is it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If so, and if you want to support my channel, check my Amazon links where I'll put links towards ink cartridges compatible with this printer, photo paper, plain paper, and even printers. Comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.